Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to be watching What We Do in the Shadows, season five, episode five and six. And I can't believe that after this, I will be more than halfway done with season five. Like, holy hell, I'm so close to catching up and it's crazy. But yeah, I'm extremely excited to get into these episodes. I am loving the Guillermo storyline this season. I cannot wait to find out what is going on with him and when Nandor will find out about him. I love that Laszlo is really helping him trying to figure this out and we have discovered some crazy things where like Guillermo sweat if diluted or distilled or whatever Laszlo did to it. You can use it as sunscreen and Laszlo was able to go out into the sun which was so cute. I really love that scene for him so yeah it's so intriguing. I really wonder where they're gonna go with this and yeah if you guys are interested you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is gonna be in the description down below. And let's just get into the episode. Good evening, New Yorkers, and welcome to Channel 8 News Live at 7. I'm Ted Spinelli. And I'm Lisa Lipton. A big day in news across the city. But we begin in Staten Island, where a water main break in the West New oh, Brighton neighborhood... Was it our fault? Now, I am here with a local resident who has been watching the situation closely. His name is Nandor... Uh, Nandor the Relentless. The Relentless. Nandor De Laurentiis. De Laurentiis. I was going for my evening stroll, which mm -hmm. I do for my mental mm -hmm. health as well as for my physical health. Oh, I love that for you. Have you seen an incident in this area like this before? Not since the great flood in 1892, Joanna. That was a big boy. <laughs> 1892. <laughs> Not 1892. <laughs> 1992. Yeah, I was going to say uh, 1892. Give me this guy's skincare secrets. So 1892 was a year that was not in my uh, human lifespan, but 1992 most definitely was. Okay, yeah, you can stop talking now, hon. And I've been living in Staten Island for many centuries. Many centuries. Well, it looks like we have this face. He's like, oh fuck, I fucked it up again. Now I do have a. Well, Ted and Lisa. Guillermo, <laughs> like, Guillermo, help me! I've done an oopsie. Oh shit! This shit, I fucked it. <laughs> it's okay. No one's gonna think you're a vampire, unless, of course, some vampire hunters are watching this and are now gonna come to get your ass. Guillermo. Gizmo is not here. Colin Robinson, turn on the television. Channel 8. Your arm's broken. Please. <laughs> I may have committed an unforgivable and irreversible blunder. Okay, Nando, don't get your knickers in a twist. I accidentally told this Joanna Roscoe that we have lived in this street for many centuries. You did what? And now she and all of the viewers of Channel 8 News Live at 7 know that we are vampires. <laughs> and no, they really don't, guys. Game over. <laughs> no. Did this happen before? I think we should kill Joanna Roscoe. And no, what? don't! Do you have any better ideas? Where's Guillermo? Oh, God, buddy, you need to get home. Tonight's kind of a farewell goodbye dinner for me and my mom. She doesn't know that it's a goodbye, but... Wait, why? When I become a full vampire, it won't be safe for my family or for me because they They're are gonna kill you. Owners. Yeah, exactly. Hey, we're putting my tia's gifts right there. The gifts. Oh no, Wait. is it her birthday? Did you forget? You didn't bring a gift for your own mama's birthday? So, funny thing, in the middle of uh, making it a big day about me, I totally forgot that it's a big day for her. Oh, yikes. To the millions and millions of viewers of Channel 8 News Live at 7, you will forget. Apologies to Joanna and Mr. De Laurentiis, but we have some <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really cannot leave them alone. It's not a big deal as long as they just answer the fucking phone. Yeah. Look out, look out. Just so silly. Oh my god, what did you do to your hair? I've decided that it is not a good idea to kill 
Joanna Roscoe. No shit, you human fart. Now help me, we'll be trapped the staircase. All right, Kevin McAllister. Colin Robinson, now is not the time for decorating. Get your fucking go bag. Vampires must always be prepared to skip out of town at a moment's notice. I have been chased out of five, maybe six villages over the course of my vampiric life, and believe me. The final photo of her was just too funny. Sleeping at the bottom of a cold well, sucking on the throats of the mountain gods you once call your brothers? No! Oh my god, isn't that a picture? of the justice or truth or something that's her that's so funny don't sit there why not because <gasps> the whole ground floor is booby trapped for our final stand oh my god what you need to do is get a kidnapping sack no you need to get your go back <laughs> and you need to trust the plan i went back to chen late news live at seven and hypnotized uh, what's that, what's the we saw! <laughs> and no, you did not hypnotize anyone, Nando. Those television humans interrupted your bladder with the warning of a storm. This is all Guillermo's fault! Is How? Back, is it? No. Also, why is your hair yellow, Nadja? We must kill Joanna Roscoe! Which were my thoughts exactly. But if you follow Arrow F, you'll find a far more sophisticated plan. Kidnap Joanna Roscoe. Which is step one of the plan. And then what? Step two. And you said that you work for the city. Uh, where are you? <laughs> what is she doing? There will be damage, bloodshed too. This is why I propose a truce. Because we are not so different, you and us. A nine-step plan. Make sure it's bloody straight, you idiot. <laughs> Reason and diplomacy do not work as you all saw. So let us do it. Let us flee. Us. Yes. And if they won't go, then it will just be you and I into the night. Go straight. Okay, C cool. <laughs> I shall go prepare my disguise. She's gonna have dark hair. The whole world knows that vampires are real and that we are they. Okay, Leslie, just do me a favor. Just stay put, okay? I'll be over soon. Don't you tell me what to do. Let's look. I have con... Leslie? That's too small, you prick. Do you think? Just stay put. We have to get Joanna Roscoe's entire body in there. That's no. What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing? I think this bag is big enough. All right, we'll get in it. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Too Just fucking more. small. If we are to kidnap Joanna no. Roscoe, we need a sack large enough be. for her entire body. Now, don't phone here again. We are incredibly busy. We don't need to be distracted. Gizmo! Oh, my God. Va a haber un día, muy pronto, cuando no puedo, no voy a poder venir a verte. So sad. Y estás feliz con este cambio. Todos sudamos de nosotros cuando hacemos unos cambios grandes. Oye, tu crucecita, ¿dónde está? Oh, you know, it burns my chest. La perdiste. No. Mira, ven. Tengo otra. Ven. No, o sea, la oh, necesitas. No, oh, no, no, Era no, de no, tu no. abuelita. Will actually hurt him? ¿Acaso creen que tengo manos de muñeca? Yo no tengo manos Holy pequeñas. Holy shit, de... it's actually hurt. That's so crazy. So he is turning into a vampire? Es la tercera vez este mes que viene y se despide de esta manera. Pero volverá la semana que viene. Guillermo, you're kidding me. Tan curioso. That's so funny. I know he's crying, but like, should I take it seriously? Was this actually his eye? Oh, oh, I think I should take this seriously. I think it was actually goodbye. He is turning into a vampire, so it just took him a little bit longer or what? So this is it then. This is really goodbye, my happy move. I'm afraid so, my Why is she changed the doors there too? That's so funny. Ready? Oh, oh. oh, so when the villagers who were chasing us say they're looking for a blonde and a brunette, <laughs> I guess I didn't really think it through. Housemates, <laughs> friends, the guide. A great enemy is upon us. <laughs> Why can't she be a friend? What did you do during the great vampire battle? <laughs> Maybe you won't need to say to her, me, Dolly, I was shoveling shit in Louisiana. I would never do that! Okay, you guys, I'm back. No need to worry, because I have a plan. <gasps> oh, watch out! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> We are fine, Guillermo. Oh, that was hot. You have your life and we have ours. And if tonight has taught us nothing else, then it has taught us this. We can survive quite easily without you. <laughs> you really, really cannot. Well, okay then. Wait, what? You seem to have everything under control, so good luck. Oh, he wanted Guillermo to fight him on that. The water main has been sealed and the underground oh, no. lake has What's happening? Been oh, that's Laszlo's car. So we can get a street crew out here to fill it in the morning, but... Hey, <laughs> 
Looks like residents are on their way to having their street back any moment now. I, hmm. Hey. Stop. It looks like the story is not going I forgot to put it in park. Initiate diversion. All right, there's a guy and uh, he has some more. Yeah. Okay, Ow. and he's throwing fire in the van. Kev? Nope, not my problem. <laughs> our, our, our apologies. Yeah, I was said, nah, I'm done. Are you getting this? Are you filming? Uh, I'm recording on the car. Oh my god, y'all are exposing vampires now. <laughs> They're so dumb. I think Joanna caught us flying on tape, FYI. We need to follow that tape. Yeah, now you can kidnap her. <laughs> that actually makes sense. Bad Run, Colin, run! But I hear we have some truly inexplicable footage from Joanna en route. <laughs> oh my god, they're at the studio. Who are you people? What are you doing in here? This looks loose. Fall asleep and forget everything that happened here tonight. And then fall off a chair. <laughs> what about all the people who just saw Lisa Lipton and Ted Spinelli? Yeah, I'm so fucking tired. You wanna hypnotize them too? Yes, good idea. <laughs> to all of the viewers! I still can't believe that hypnosis works through the TV. Oh. Actually, pretty solid solution. Should we just leave now? That don't look very suspicious to the humans that have just tuned in. Just read the words on the screen. Hip hip! Pup Indeed, it is time again for Staten Island's annual puppy parade. Which is always a barking good time. <gasps> He's hoping we have- They're so cute, look at the little puppies. And now let's turn it over to Colin Robinson with the weather. Seems like a wet one out there tonight, right Colin Robinson? Not as wet <laughs> as it could have been, Nadja, but still no fun for anyone who forgot- Poor Heather, she can eat! And this patch right here, um, well, that's a, a little blood. schmutz there on the old weather wall with high Doppler action. But this patch up here, perfect weather for a puppy parade. Our four-legged friends will certainly be happy to hear that. And now we turn to Leslo Cravensworth. From your lips to Coach Dayball's ears, Big Blue is having a big season. And from everyone at Channel 8 News, goodbye. 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 Bye, <laughs> <laughs> Try and look normal. Try and look normal. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a good episode. I really, really like that. I guess I always imagined the hardest part of being a vampire was keeping your identity a secret. But I guess the hardest part is who you leave behind. Why would yeah. you leave them behind, though? The goodbyes. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me so much. Holy shit. <laughs> But I'm so confused. Why would he leave the vampires behind? Is it because of his lie? Because he can't tell them that he was turned by Derek? Or what? I'm so confused about that. But yeah, let's just get into episode 6 because I simply do not understand what Guillermo is talking about. Like, why would he have to leave Staten Island and the other vampires? You will want to get this on camera. Ah! On camera? What is it? My telekinesis has gotten better. Oh? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Pretty cool, huh? I have discovered <laughs> something wonderful with the frogs that I injected with your blood. Wait, you you did what with my blood? Oh god, what happened to them? <laughs> why are they what? so hairy? Well, why are you so hairy? Who cares? Now, nah, bomb by <laughs> us. What? No, those poor what? frogs. What the fuck? They can fly. Can Guillermo fly? They flew. Ipso factum, shithead. So can you. But what if I can't? Yeah, but what if you can? <laughs> what if you can? That would be pretty cool. It would be oh, very cool. I hope he can. I believe in you and I love you, Guillermo. Come on, Gizmo. Let her rip. Me too, Guillermo. Me too. You will never fly unless you need to. Panic is the secret ingredient. Now, come on. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, he's I'm doing, doing it. it. <laughs> Guillermo. He's been <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how we I all I think live. he broke his arm. I heard a crunch and it did not sound good. Oh, shit. Oh, screaming? Is somebody screaming? Oh, a... no, maybe it's his leg that broke. Fucking hell. What happened? Oh, well, I don't know. No, I was in the library. It's... Don't look at me. Oh, bent in a very bad way. Nice shine, Colin Robinson. Hey, ah. look at him. Someone's had an interesting evening. Please help me. Wow. What happened to Dingus? Oh God, Guillermo was like, I don't feel well. Every time I go to drain someone, they see my black eye and want to know what happened. All of a sudden, I'm too g damn interesting to drain anyone. What the fuck? Oh, oh. He's gonna starve to death. Put some concealer on your eye, man. I mean, this exact same thing happened when I came back from Vietnam. Whoa. You were in there. Well, thank you for your service. During the war or just on a holiday? I, I wasn't in the army. About six <laughs> years ago, I took a cycling trip with back roads. <sighs> on the third day, we found a dead body in a tree. No kidding. With a ox's asshole around its neck like a necklace. What? How did that happen? Some <gasps> poor farmer and his ox must have stepped on a decommissioned landmine and oh. blew him up into the tree and the... Oh. That's so sad. Good grief. Fascinating. I wasn't expecting that ending. See, it's the black eye. Makes my stories too interesting. You... But this is Colin Robinson. I mean, he can't have any more fascinating stories in him. Gee, you tell me. A five-pound frozen block of shit and piss fall off a plane landing on a 308 Ferrari. No way. And blowing oh my the God, side yes. view mirror right into my kisser. Well, fuck my old boots. Son of a bitch. Frozen <laughs> blocks yes. of pisses and shits. Uh... What the what do they think of next? Get him off. Oh, yeah. Go, Nander, go! Help him! Get him familiar. I just went to get him new trousers a year ago. It is your turn. Fine. Fuck it. Whatever. Yes. Okay, Guillermo. It's actually not just going. Nandor, how dare you? Okay already, I said we're going. Oh, that's all my love. Did you just see a hairy frog? The only hairy frog I'm interested in, my darling, is the one between your legs. It's not just a frog, it's the whole swamp. True. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, off you go, man. Where are you? Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, oh no! Are either of you allergic to penicillin? Just ragweed and chewing gum. Chewing oh, gum? Oh, unusual. That is odd. Guys, on. guys, you're literally killing me. Right, let's crack on. <laughs> when I flick this switch... Will it hurt? Pain like you've never known. And furthermore, if you're overdrained, you could die. Fuck this. I'm out. What? Well, wait a minute, I'm starving. And you will be fed, Colin Robinson, but I think we should revert to our original plan. The original plan? Are you mad? I think it's a pretty good plan. We cover your black eye with makeup and make you boring again. <laughs> what I was saying. If it was up to me, I would have just packed your ankle in some muck made from fish piss and fed you some pickled pig's ears. But no, my husband thinks the doctor is better. Trust the science, my darling. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> not the spit. If a doctor finds out that I'm almost a vampire, no, but dead man. And if Nasha finds out, it'll be even worse. So, yeah. Stop squirming, Guillermo. We're very close oh, I don't like the way his leg is moving. It looks like he doesn't have any bones in there anymore. You say we're going to urgent care? Yes. Familiar no. no, 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 no! Oh, he's so fucked. Let's take a look at all these losers. Hmm? Outdoor diners. They do deserve it. Yes? <laughs> Great start. Excuse me. Origin of the doggy bag started. It was actually... Oh, he's gonna get hit. Oh! Bitch! Ouch. Keep moving, please. Stop filming me. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. okay. Shoo, he needs privacy. It is fine. Man, are you okay? No. What the fuck? Oh, That's the dude from Mad Men. Oh, for fuck. Oh, for where's fuck. your martini, bud? You gotta be kidding me. We will be in that car alone with this gentleman that owes you a debt, which you will collect by feeding. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always so smart feeling on the person who drives. Hold on high. Wait, where are we going? Uh, through the wall. No, no, stop. That's a solid wall. No, no, no. No! no. 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 Oh, my God. That's so fucking cool. So I have a recommendation, and that is put her down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good God. She's like almost 40. She might squeeze out a few more good years, but we're talking quality of life. Okay. Let's do it. No, fuck this. Okay. Oh, come down. You're gonna be okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's so fucked. Fantastic. That's it. 
Sweet dreams, Guillermo. Oh my God, what did he do to him? Oh, this is so scary. Do you find it difficult? Being an older actor, having to memorize lines, especially when you've been drinking. Slattery, that's an Irish name, right? I personally don't mind the Irish, but I just don't like it when they try to sound intelligent. Huh, wow. I could listen to you talk for hours. Excuse me? I mean, not to what you're saying, but to that accent. It's oh. just so specific. Where are you from? Well... Wait, 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 don't tell me. Upper Midwest. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> she was just a familiar, but thank you. It is kind of nice to think of Kathy on that rainbow bridge doing stuff with her familiar friends, having spaghetti or whatever it is they dream of doing. Well, they're in a better place now. Yes. I wish I was. All right, I'm looking for a nudge. Oh. Guillermo's ankle is healing up nicely, which oh. is very unusual. So just to be safe, I say we put him down. He could break that ankle again. He could break the other ankle. Or he could just bitch a lot. Hmm. I think we're just going to take him home. All right. Well, oh, let's go, Nacho. Very nice of you. The results of that blood work came back, and they're very odd. So I'm just going to have it retested. It will not take long. I promise I'm going to get you out of oh, here no, well no, before no, sunrise. No. Why? What if they find that Van Helsing muck in his blood? I'm going to have to get him out of here. Oh, thank God. Oh, holy shit. We're so lucky. I don't want to go to Brooklyn. I don't want to go to Brooklyn. There's a little bit of an uptalk there. I don't want to go to Brooklyn. Can you let us out right here, Can you right let here, us please? Out right here, please? Is he also an energy vampire? What is he doing? It's just the most interesting accent okay, I've ever heard. I mean, where are you <laughs> okay. I'm, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just trying to get it in my head. You know, it's all about muscle memory. Yeah, man. And then they're going to kill you, so let's go. That's all serious. Can I say something? Naja. What? I think you're wonderful and I love you. Ow! Oh, <laughs> crazy bitch. <laughs> but I love you. You know who else I love oh, is Lazlo? But he's a horny little bitch. I also love <laughs> Colin Robinson. He's like a little boring bitch. Like he's like an LBB. But you know, the one I love the most is actually Nandor because he's like the queen bitch. <laughs> is that crazy? He's like the what? The queen bitch? Who turned him? <sighs> who what? According to his blood, oh, no. this familiar has been turned into a vampire. Yes, it's early stages, but he is well on his way. No, I'm sorry, there's been a huge mistake. So he is on his way. Guillermo. Yeah. A vampire. Yes. That thing, that loser is a vampire. He sure fucking is. No one in that house would do such a thing. Well, then we have a very big problem, because I'm going to put him down. Will you what? Why? He's all familiar. You need to let him Get go. your hands off of me! <laughs> Oh my god. I love that she is rescuing him. Like, even after all of this? That is so cute. Guillermo! Come on, girl. Get out! Guillermo! Oh my god, what the hell is going on over there? Hello? I'm sorry. <laughs> Guillermo! Oh, I think that was just kinky stuff. Raja! Hi! What? You work here. Volunteer, actually. It's a way of giving <laughs> back. I mean, who rescued who, right? <laughs> Have you seen Guillermo? Guillermo? Oh, no, no. Well, you rescued no one, bitch. I want you to tell them you're going to take a nice big shit, okay? It's going to buy you a few more hours of energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're kidding me. Yo! He's the guy from the video. What? He's TikTok famous now. Colin Robinson, that's you. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah. How do they make this so quick? In the music? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Thank you so much! You saved my story! <laughs> you did? How clean is your toy? <laughs> no. No. Oh, shit! Can't be back here! No! Fuck off! Ah. Oh my gosh, she's on a fucking mission to save Guillermo! He's mine! Oh, I love her so much! <laughs> they really are a family! Now what the fuck, man? This doctor tells me you're almost a vampire! Oops, I have a little secret. Oh, focus, Guillermo, the truth now! Oh, why? Okay? I took my fate into my own destiny and I had Derek do it. I paid him to do it. He turned me into a vampire! Derek, you could have been turned by a legendary vampire. But he wasn't gonna do it. Nando is going to rip your face into a new asshole. Well, does it matter, does it? Because these guys are gonna kill me anyways. Oh, shut up, you dumb dick. I'm not gonna let them kill you. That's... It's Nando's privilege. Shut up, you dumb dick. I told you, we need to put him down. That's not going to happen. He is coming with me, and his master will decide how to kill him. If we release an abomination like that onto the street, I'm going to lose my medical license. <laughs> <laughs> not Watch out. Oh my god, 
That's just so cool. Help me oh. Who knows? <gasps> oh my god, look at him go! Unseen. No! Oh my god, Guillermo, do something! Help her! Help her! <gasps> oh my god! Get away from her, you bitch! Oh! Oh, let's fucking go, Guillermo! Oh, oh my face! No, 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 no! Yeah, you look great! Never looked hotter! Go and find your clothes! I'm not dragging you in your coat to die in! Let's go! Oh man, I'm so fucking excited! Turning the machine off. <coughs> Is it working? Do you feel good? <laughs> it hurt at first, <laughs> but now I... Whiskey dick, as you might call it. Oh, that makes sense, because I'm getting a little tickle in my pickle. Well, that's an accident, because I removed that aspect. Must be the vibration. Oh, could be, or it could be the smell. I really like the smell of burning hair. What about you, Nando? How are you finding it? Oh, oh shit! Oh my god, he aged! Reverse the process, Laszlo! Well, I can't! It's too late, isn't it? Look at him! Shit! I'm sorry, is he dead? I'll re-energize Nandor myself. How? Well, if I can drain the energy from people, I sure as hell can put it back in them. Just go, trust me! Come in, my darling! Uh, uh, okay, he apparently has that power. What the fuck? Nandor, hello. <laughs> it's your boy, Colin Robinson. But I'm going to tell you my real name. It's... Arthur Simon Garfunkel Santino, but <laughs> I, I had to change it because people would laugh when they realized that the initials spelled out ass. <laughs> oh my God, he's doing it! Do you know who it was that pointed that out to me? It was my ex-boyfriend, Davy Crockett, at the Alamo. Okay, I don't know what any of that means. That's too American for me. But the fact that he had a boyfriend is so cute. If you don't believe me, maybe this knife that Jim Bowie gave me will convince you. Uh... Oh my god, that's incredible! I love the tree, none of them are straight. And my husband doesn't think I need to know about it! Cool it, my darling, I'm just trying to find a cure, alright? Now, if I can cure? stop the transformation, maybe Nandor can turn Gizmo. Oh my god, that's so interesting. He's going to kill you, and then he's going to kill all of us, mm. and then he's going to kill himself. Then don't tell him. I'm not going to lie to my husband to cover up your treachery. Just give me a chance to make this up here when I did this, I did... <clears throat> well, well, well. You've been gone all night. What, you can't even call? I'm sorry. They tried to put me down. What? Why? What did the doctor say? <laughs> that I could break my ankle again? Guillermo is fine. Just your average weak boned, broken foot familiar. <sighs> I guess someone won't be cutting a rug anytime oh, soon. Holy fucking shit. Wait, don't move. What's up? Is that fluff in his hair? <laughs> oh, oh, what the frog. The hell is this? <laughs> I don't know, man. Nobody knows. Frog? Really? A frog? <gasps> A frog that flies and has hair and looks kind of like you. He can recognize him in frog form. Yeah, Mo, do you think I am an idiot? Say no. No? That's right, because this is precisely what happens when a little birdie sneaks into this house, fucks a mouse, they have a child that grows up that then fucks a frog that looks uh, like you. Uh, this is a direct uh, result of your slacking. We are not running a fucking circus here. <laughs> Give him to me. You may have fooled him because he has the IQ of a Russian toilet, but I know you're up to something, aren't you, you little sneaky Pete? Not even a Japanese toilet. Okay, Colin, if I tell you something... Sight. Uh, I can't give two squirts. Oh my god, this is such an exciting season. I really am enjoying it. Surely not. <laughs> what did it just say? Carry on. Carry on? I, I don't think I can. I don't think I can carry on after that. What the fuck was that? Okay, I looked it up because I couldn't understand, but the frog said Guillermo. 
is that actually just Guillermo in frog form? Oh my god, you know the whole like thing on, I think it's on Twitter or somewhere where I saw that people were like, oh, would you love me if I was a worm? Like, I think women asking their boyfriends that. And now maybe Guillermo could actually get an answer to that when he goes up to Nanda and he's like, would you love me if I was a frog? Because I am actually a frog. And then Nanda's gonna be like, yeah, of course. This show is so fucking weird, but like in the best way possible. And I love it so much. This Guillermo storyline is so intriguing. And oh my God, the idea, like I didn't even realize, did they say it? Did I talk over it? Did they say that Laszlo is trying to figure out a cure for Guillermo? I thought he was just trying to figure out what was going on with him and why he wasn't turning into a full vampire. I didn't realize he was trying to reverse this so that in the end he would be able to get turned by Nandor. That is so interesting because I was kind of vibing with this whole Guillermo being a hybrid, like maybe he would be a different kind of vampire because he is a Van Helsing. But I think it would also be so cool if they got him to turn back into a human and then Nandor would be the one who ends up actually turning him into a vampire because then we could still get that like super romantic scene between the two of them. Oh boy, a lot is going on and I'm enjoying it so much. This was the episode of Truly where everybody was dying. They wanted to put Guillermo down, Colin was dying, then Nandor died, and then Colin revealed his real name, which spells out as like that. So funny. And I love that he was able to give his energy back to Nandor. Like what a cool little fun fact about Colin. Speaking of Colin, I do have a gripe with this show because his entire plotline for season three was him wanting to find out where he came from. And he never did that. Like, I guess us as the audience kind of know, but also we don't really know. Like we don't know what happened to him a hundred years ago, but we did get to see what happened to him on his hundredth birthday. And then the subsequent year after that, but Colin doesn't remember that he doesn't know any of that so why did he suddenly stop caring about where energy vampires come from and like where do they come from <laughs> because we also don't know that like what happened to that plot line why was it dropped i really thought we would learn more about colin this season but i guess not things are just back to normal with him which is kind of weird so yeah i'm not really a fan of that i really hoped that we could learn more about him like where he came from was this the first time he was turned into a baby or like what's going on? So yeah, it really sucks that we don't know more about him. I guess they still have time to address it this season or maybe the next one. But yeah, I really hope we get to learn where energy vampires come from and the whole backstory for Colin Robinson. Like sure, we know that he was at the Alamo. I think that's some sort of battle. Again, please do not judge me. I'm not American. I don't know American history. So yeah, that told me nothing besides the fact that Colin is also not straight, which I do love. Like it's so fun. I love the representation in this show. But yeah, we got to learn his real name, but not where energy vampires come from. So hopefully that'll follow at some point as well. But yeah, episode six was uh, so good. I loved everything with Guillermo and Nadja in it. Like the fact that Nadja is like, I hate Guillermo and like he, she barely wanted to take care of him and then as soon as they were like we're gonna put him down she went crazy even after she found out that he committed the greatest sin known to man well not to man to vampire kind and she truly just like almost got killed also in the process of trying to protect Guillermo I love that scene so much also what a fun little action scene that they've done I really enjoyed it and in the end her protecting him from Nanda it's just all so cute like again it's so crazy to see how Nadja and Laszlo usually talk about Guillermo like he's nothing and he doesn't matter and they hate him but both of them are literally protecting him so hard right now and it really just proves to me that they do deep down really care about him and I think that's just so special and I cannot wait to see what they're gonna do next like will they actually be able to cure him and then get Nandor to turn him I don't know but it's so so cool and so interesting also I guess Guillermo is on his way to become a vampire but it's interesting that the doctor thought that he must have been turned very recently when it wasn't that recent I think at this point it's probably been like over two weeks maybe three or four at this point so 
yeah very interesting that it's still taking him so long to actually turn but he is getting his powers like his telekinetic powers are coming in he was able to fly a little bit and all of his extra strength very very cool i'm so excited to see where they're gonna take this and yeah episode five was just a bunch of ridiculous fun i love when they lean into their insanity episodes where it's like it makes no sense but it's uh, so fun i really loved it i love that they were the newscasters at the end of it like that was such a fun scene i really enjoyed it although the whole guillermo storyline was really quite sad although i did think it was so funny when the mom was like this is his third time saying goodbye he'll be back next week but maybe he won't be i don't know the way that ended with like guillermo strength kicking in and just him crying in the lift it was really really sad so yeah i do feel really bad for him like he finally got what he wanted and he's just not happy because he didn't get the bite from nandor and now he has to leave his family it's all so sad and i feel really bad for him so hopefully there will be some happiness for him in the future so yeah these two were excellent episodes i am absolutely still loving season five definitely one of their stronger seasons at least in my opinion because i am very much so fascinated by this whole guillermo hybrid vampire situation and also just the jokes are top-notch this season as i'm sorry i just thought of the joke with the frog a hairy frog that laszlo is interested in is between not just lungs and she's like oh it's not just a frog it's a swarm that was too funny actually too funny i really really love that so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction thank you so much for watching and as always a huge shout out goes out to all my patreons for supporting me thank you guys so much you guys are the best i really appreciate every single one of you and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye